The area around Dresden originally had an amazing number of narrow gauge lines, the purpose of which was to extract mineral rich ores from the Ore Mountains that formed the border area between Saxony and present day Czech Republic. A large number of these lines remain at the present time in use as tourist attractions. The Zitar Railway is the most easterly of all the lines, as shown by the yellow ellipse, close to the Czech and Polish borders. My journey to the Zitar Railway started at Dresden Hauptbahnhof. The station on the present site opened in 1898, but the station was destroyed on the nights of the 13th to 14th of February 1945, when the station was all but destroyed. Its subsequent rebuilding has resulted in a unique design, with a lower level terminus station flanked either side by two high level stations, each with its own high train shed. The journey to Zita was made in a 642 series Siemens to Zero Classic, operated by Trilex, a company that runs trains from Dresden into Poland and the Czech Republic. During World War II, Zita was the location of a Nazi prison and labor camp. The narrow gauge line dates from the 1890s, and traffic grew to the extent that it was double track from Zittau to Bertsdorf, and was the only German narrow gauge line with double track. It was built to transport mineral rich rocks from the Ore Mountains, but from an early date also developed a thriving tourist traffic. The line splits at Bertsdorf with two branches to Eubin and Jonsdorf. Trains leave from a modest two platform station with a wooden canopy overhead. Out of use locomotive number 991757. This locomotive was parked here seven years ago on my first visit. The first station is soon reached. It's the Dow Town Station. We pass beneath the standard gauge line from Liberec in the Czech Republic. On my first visit seven years ago, I had videoed number 99787 arriving at Zittau South. The quality of the coal was much poorer at that time and was probably a soft brown coal. It was the practice on this line to use the original numbers as used when the locomotives were built between 1952 and 57. These are examples of transporter wagons for standard gauge wagons.
Wilhelmstorf is the main intermediate station on the line. There is an engine shed here and the locomotive has its fire cleaned and water replenished. It's also the junction where a connecting train to Johnsdorf is waiting. When both steam and diesel haul trains are ready, there's a double departure. Thirty minutes or so later, the diesel haul train from Jansdorf arrives back in Bertsdorf. And moments later, the steam haul train from Orbin also arrives. then work to service from Birdstorf to Orban. The original forest was all removed for firewood or lumber and by the 1960s much of the forest had gone. What we see today is all natural regeneration. This is a diesel hydraulic locomotive that formerly worked in the Czech Republic. It has been re-engined with a Caterpillar engine. Later that day the diesel locomotive arrives with another train at Orbin and repeats the quick run round. We return to the start of the line at Zittau and see the steam locomotive setting back across publicly accessible roads. The locomotive bell sounds continuously and a railway employee with a red flag oversees the manoeuvre. completes the run round and prepares to make its fourth and final departure of the day over the line.